This research is concerned with how the migrant background of a child's primary caregiver influences that child's use of healthcare services. We're living in an increasingly globalized world with many countries becoming more ethnoculturally diverse. And healthcare services therefore must uh, respond to and serve more heterogeneous patient populations and understanding the um, influence of migrant background um, on child's healthcare uh, utilisation is important because these kids represent an important um, demographic for the future of host nations. And it also provides an indication of that family's um, integration and assimilation into a host society. Uh, the study setting for this paper is Ireland, which is interesting in the international um, context because it's an advanced economy for which net immigration is actually a relatively recent phenomenon occurring in the last two decades and non-Irish nationals are making up a great portion of um, our demographics. And then these residents are having children um, and there's an emerging cohort of, of children to non um, Irish born parents for the first time in the country's history. Um, so we use data from the Growing Up in Ireland study, uh, which is a longitudinal uh, cohort. Um, the child cohort were born in 1998 and first interviewed their families when the child was nine years old and followed up over the years. Uh, the infant cohort were born in 2008 and they were first interviewed um, when the child was nine months old. So I'm interested in how these kids have attended GPs, how they've um, presented at emergency departments and whether they've had inpatient hospital nights. And I'm interested in these patterns according to the native origin of their primary caregiver, which is typically the mum. And of course, the control for um, this socioeconomic situation of the family, education, employment, uh, healthcare, uh, insurance, and um, that child's health status. And what the research finds is that there's significant disparities in healthcare utilization across groups. So there was lower use of GP services, emergency departments, and hospital nights by children um, whose primary caregiver was from non-EU, less developed, non-Anglosphere, so non-English speaking nations. Um, and those are typically African nations, um, South American, relative to the local populace. And also lower use of emergency departments and hospital nights for um, younger children of parents from um, EU backgrounds, and a large proportion of those are the 2004 EU enlargement accession um, countries. So all of this has implications then for healthcare planning, policy making, and the research community as we try to understand um, migrant, this phenomenon of migration um, in current and future um, population projections. And it has at the international level been a politically divisive topics. So um, evidence such as this can inform debate and perhaps misconceptions.